today, Psych News, why trauma bonds can feel stronger than love and why that's not romantic, it's neurobiology. Hi, I'm psychologist Dr. Becky and today I'm talking about trauma bonds, one of the most misunderstood concepts of the internet. A trauma bond isn't about bonding over shared trauma, it's about becoming emotionally attached to someone who repeatedly hurts you. Here's what the research shows. Trauma bonds form when three things come together, power imbalance, intermittent kindness, and fear or threat. So you get cycles like harm, apology, affection, hope, harm again. Psychologically, this is intermittent reinforcement, the same learning mechanism that makes slot machines addictive. Your brain starts chasing the relief, not the relationship. Neurobiologically, stress hormones like cortisol spike during threat, then dopamine and oxytocin are released during reconciliation. That cocktail wires the brain to associate safety and relief with the very person causing the harm. Studies consistently show trauma bonding is linked to higher PTSD symptoms, attachment insecurity, and prior childhood trauma, which helps explain why leaving doesn't feel relieving, it feels like withdrawal. And if this were love, it wouldn't require a recovery period, a nervous system reboot, and three friends staging an intervention. The clinical takeaway? Breaking a trauma bond isn't about insight alone. It's about safety, consistency, nervous system regulation, and often trauma-informed therapy. Because you're not breaking a habit, you're unwiring a threat-based attachment. And that's today's Psych News.